this Greenlandic wilderness is um, is harder. It's a much harder climate also than uh, than on the west coast, and especially than on the south coast. Um, I like the fact that it's pretty much as far away from anything that you could ever get. It's a true wilderness. It's a place that. Uh, that uh, you can still walk up a valley and down on the other side of a mountain and see something that very, very few people have ever seen. Eric the Red was the discoverer of, of Greenland, gave it its name to entice people to come there. He headed around through Prince Christian Sound and uh, up into the uh, southwest coast of Greenland. And uh, this area is probably the prime uh, area for uh, the Greenland Norse. It's the richest pasture, it's the warmest summer, it, it's the area where uh, the largest number of Norse ruins are. This is, these are some of the first Thule culture people who moved south into uh, West Greenland from the northwest. Inuit is the term that Eskimo people have come to call themselves. And Inuit means the people. And in Greenland, uh, they can be called Inuit. They, they understand themselves in those terms today, but they prefer to be called Greenlanders because most Inuit in, in Greenland have mixed to some degree with the uh, early whalers who came in the 1700s and with the Danes who administered the island here. 